In 2019-20, there were an oddly high amount of NBA records that stood for half a century plus, but got broken. Here's how each player's dominant abilities led to that, and the top 10 rarest NBA records that got snapped this past season. Yes! Like this video and subscribe to the channel, hit the bell to get notifications anytime I make a video, and follow your boy on Instagram and Twitter at dflowhoops. Let's get into it. The 10th best record broken this season and the first of two records featuring Giannis came from the Greek Freaks team, the Bucks. Milwaukee surpassed the 2016-17 Warriors to become the fastest team in NBA history to clinch a playoff spot. Cream City's group of elite three-point shooters around Giannis, headlined by the MVP's co-star Chris Cash Money Middleton, and 2020's league leader in three-point percentage, George Hill, the Bucks dominated the Eastern Conference in the regular season. Regardless of their second-round exit in the playoffs, an impressive record snap from Milwaukee. Actually, it's pronounced Milwaukee, which is Algonquin for the good land. I was not aware of that. For Knicks fans, it's an understatement to say there hasn't been a lot to cheer about the last seven years. The fact that the matter is, the New York Knicks are horrible. It is that simple. A travesty. Mitchell Robinson succeeded in changing that this year, though, as he set the NBA record for the highest field goal percentage. In 1973, Wilt Chamberlain made 72.3% of his shots, but Mitchell topped that by posting a 74% clip in 2020, the most efficient campaign in league history, likely making Stephen A. Smith react like this. <laughs> The beard may have been trimmed in the second round for a second straight season, but on December 14th, 2019, Harden did something that no one else has done in this league's near 75 year history. While Harden joined Steph Curry as one of two players with back-to-back -back games of 10 threes, James also became the only man of all time to record two straight games of recording 50 points while having 10 threes. Call his step backs a travel all you want, but that's a special accomplishment for the league's best peer score. You're probably not gonna witness a more dominant two game stretch like that in a very long time. He got hurt several times throughout the playoffs, but Jamal Murray persevered and was able to put up two 50 point games in his first round series against the Jazz. One of them was in game six, where to keep the Nuggets alive, Jamal took the fewest field goals ever needed for a 50 piece in NBA history making a ridiculous 17 of his 24 field goals. Jamal's performance broke Bob Cousy's record of 25 attempts and 50 points, so Jamal broke a record that stood for about seven decades and now owns the most efficient 50 piece of all time. While in the regular season, Luka Doncic passed Michael Jordan to set the record for the longest streak of games with at least 20 points, five rebounds, and five assists, his most impressive broken record occurred in the postseason. Ranking as the sixth best record set this year, Luka Doncic passed John Williamson to score the most amount of points in his first playoff game in league history. Go see if I think the Slovenian sensation has the most potential in the league in my last video, but it's clear that after an insane first impression under the bright lights of the postseason, that Luka is going to be around as one of the top players in this league for a while. Four players ever have played in the NBA for 21 seasons. They are Robert Parrish, Dirk Nowitzki, Kevin Willis, and Kevin Garnett. Carter topped that in 2019-20 to set the new NBA record for the most individual seasons played ever. During his 22-year NBA career, Carter played seven seasons for the Toronto Raptors, five seasons with the New Jersey Nets, three seasons each with the Dallas Mavericks and Memphis Grizzlies, two seasons each with the Hawks and Orlando Magic, and one season each with the Sacramento Kings and Phoenix Suns. Pretty crazy. An eight-time All-Star, Carter was the 1999 Rookie of the Year with the Raptors and put on the greatest dunk contest ever single-handedly in the year 2000. He then averaged a career-high 27.6 points for Toronto and saved the Raptor franchise in the process. Carter was a top star in the game and is debatably the greatest dunker in history. But the fact that he was able to sacrifice both his ego and body, becoming a role player as his career progressed, to become the longest tenured veteran of all time, that's most impressive about VC's career. The fourth most impressive record broken from this past season is the Bulls' seventh overall pick from the 2019 NBA draft, Kobe White, setting the rookie record for threes in a single quarter. 
White dropped seven fourth quarter triples in a game against the Knicks last November. Then in February, Kobe became the first rookie off the bench in NBA history to record three straight 30-point games. Kobe may have only shot 39% from the floor in his first season, but in the last two months of the year, White averaged over 20 points per game on over 43% shooting. When a first-year player doesn't hit the proverbial rookie wall and develops as the season progresses, that's a great sign, and I think this man's first campaign got extremely overlooked by the NBA universe. In Kobe, the Bulls finally have some scoring punch at point guard next to Zach Levine. To come clean, I forgot about this man as an honorable mention for my top 10 players with potential video, but I promise you, there'll be some love on this channel in the near future for Chicago's soon-to-be sophomore. Outside of the top two, Donovan Mitchell passing Steph Curry to make the most threes of all time in a playoff series with 33 is the rarest all-time record shattered in this video. The Spider also recorded the third highest scoring performance in NBA playoff history with 57, but him breaking Steph Curry's record is shocking. Donovan's IQ was at a different level in Utah's battle with Denver, and he was able to carry a Jazz team with seven rotation players, missing their third scorer in Boyan Bogdanovich, all the way to a Game 7 against the team that made the West Finals in the Denver Nuggets. Maybe Steph will take back this record in 2021's playoffs, but for the moment, let's respect D. Mitch etching his name in the history books. You wouldn't expect a man that's known for his slashing to break this type of record. So again, some shocking stuff from Utah's superstar. Picking between the top two on this list was an extremely difficult task, but at number two, I have LeBron James setting the NBA record for playoff wins. The chosen one surpassed Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, Robert Ory, Tim Duncan, plus Derek Fisher on the path to his fourth championship. And even though he may not be happy about getting the proper rest time this offseason, King James will have a chance to take a massive lead and make his playoff win record untouchable in the next few years. Because as long as he has Anthony Davis next to him and of course the bald mamba slash goat Alex Caruso, the Lakers will be contenders until LeBron retires. In the prime of their careers, not even Michael Jordan, LeBron James, or Stephen Curry could break the record for a single season player efficiency rating of 31.82. But Giannis Antetokounmpo's 2019-20 campaign will go down as the most efficient regular season in NBA history. Player Efficiency Rating, or PER, was developed by former ESPN columnist John Hollinger, and the formula quote-unquote sums up all of a player's positive accomplishments, subtracts the negative accomplishments, and returns a permanent rating of a player's performance. Pretty confusing, right? And it's by no means a perfect metric, just like every other statistic in its existence, PER certainly has its flaws and should be viewed with an added element of scrutiny. That's certainly been the evolution of how PER is viewed in the NBA analysis today. Yet, it still does hold some real value, most notably when it's providing a yardstick to compare players from different generations. But ladies and gentlemen, Adetokounmpo broke a 58-year-old record held by Wilt Chamberlain, who had a 31.82 PER in the 62-63 season. Y'all know how hard it is to break any record Wilt has, right? Giannis did it. He also averaged the fewest minutes from an MVP winner ever, yet posted 29.5 points, 13.6 boards, and 5.6 dimes. That's an MVP, folks, and a well-deserved one at that. Shout out to Cardick Saf, who answers last video's question by saying he'd start a franchise with Jason Tatum. Cardick moves up to number two on the speaks board. A great answer is always from the man. The question for next video shout out is, which broken record are you most impressed with from the 2019-20 season? Get your takes in because the top five at the end of the year on the Speaks board get free NBA merchandise. This was D-Flow. Keep watching some of my recent uploads and I'll see you next video.